Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now March 18th of 2020 and currently both Disney and Lucasfilm are developing their new Star Wars universe as well as the new Star Wars trilogy of films that's really going to propel the Star Wars community into a new era of the Star Wars franchise as well as a brand new mythology to come in the near future. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the exciting thing about the future of Star Wars is that yes, in case you guys did not know, Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative control over any of the existing projects over at Lucasfilm that are in the early development phase, which in my opinion is a great thing and it really does really create a light at the end of the tunnel here for the Star Wars franchise and itself as a brand. Now, when we look ahead at what Disney is trying to do when it all comes down to new characters and how they're planning to restructure the Skywalker saga as we know it on Disney Plus and other projects out there that are currently in the early works as we speak, one thing that may be controversial to a lot of fans out there all has to do with Disney's plan in order to restart the prequel trilogy in several ways. Now, Lucasfilm is, of course, developing many different retcons, not just for the sequels, but also for the prequels and the originals, and more so for the prequels, because they want to do this in a significant matter in order to introduce new characters and in order to also broaden the Star Wars brand. Now, on top of all this, what's really intriguing about this is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars universe, also known as their new Star Wars Expanded Universe. Now, it's noted that Disney and Lucasfilm are developing many different retcons to the Skywalker saga that are going to change how fans view the prequels, originals, and even the sequels as well. Now, it's noted that Lucasfilm is currently developing a project that is in the early works that is set to be an animated TV series that will retell aspects of the prequel trilogy era of Star Wars films. It's noted that this planned animated TV series that is described to be in 3D animated form that is planned to be released sometime in 2023 is that Lucasfilm wants to restart the prequel trilogy by introducing a brand new character who is the one directly responsible by pulling the true strings in the background over Darth Plague is an even Emperor Palpatine. This character is set to be the ancient Sith known as Tor Valum, a character created by, of course, Colin Trevorrow, the original director and writer of Episode 9 before he was fired, and that Disney and Lucasfilm will introduce this into the new canon in the near future. It's noted that they want to retell the prequel trilogy films of what Tor Valum was going in, what he was actually doing in the background, in order for Palpatine to successfully turn Anakin Skywalker to the dark side of the Force and that this new project will feature the secrets of Mortis that will tie more so into Anakin's story during the prequel trilogy era. It's also said that Lucasfilm wants to add in a new truth of Padme's death and Anakin's turn to the dark side of the Force. However, Tor Valum is said to be the key here as to how they want to reinvent the prequel trilogy era of Star Wars films. So, how do I feel about this? Well, I will say that I'm very much on edge about this idea. I feel like that... All the other Star Wars films should really be left alone and should not be altered with or changed in any way, shape, or form. However, it is a very interesting take here. The fact that there is somebody else pulling the strings in the background during the events of episodes 1 through 3, even far beyond Palpatine and Darth Plagueis. That, to me, I think is very intriguing. Now... Obviously, during the events of the prequels, Darth Plagueis is dead, and that leaves us with the ancient Sith known as Tor Valum. What's intriguing to me is what Colin Trevorrow originally wanted to do. I don't know if you guys read the original script called Duel of the Fates for Episode 9, where Colin wanted to introduce this ancient Sith Lord that lived over in a place called the Remnicor system in the galaxy. Kylo would travel there try to learn the truth about the dark side and the very secrets of the dark side of the force, and would eventually even kill Tor Valum by sucking his life force. Now, the thing about this, though, is that that is, of course, not canon because those scripts were actually never made into a movie. They're using that as inspiration to pretty much establish Tor Valum into the Disney canon during the events of episodes one through three the one that who is really pulling the strings behind Palpatine and is the one who ultimately is actually turning Anakin Skywalker to the dark side. I'm not quite sure how I really feel about this because Palpatine to me should be the guy, right? He should be the Sith 
that's really controlling everything in the background. Now, of course, with Star Wars, there's always somebody, you know, uh, bigger and badder, right? More evil, if you will, than ever before. I mean, the Old Republic is a great example of this, you know. We've seen a lot of other Darths and a lot of other Sith that seem to be way more powerful than Palpatine at that. So, when we look at this in that sense, right? Disney wants to do this in order to create, I guess you could say, different avenues for Star Wars as a brand. So with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind of support, and I'll catch you guys next time.